Buenas, teacher. No se escucha. No se le escucha, teacher. Hola, hola, teacher. No se escucha. Ok, veamos, veamos. Audio series. I'm going to try. Ahora sí, ya. ¿Y si ya? No ok, perfecto. Ya. Excelente. Okay. Great. ¿Y Filomena sí me escuchaba o tampoco me escuchaba, Filomena? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Sí, teacher. Ah, ok, great. Good Excellent. Good Thank you for telling me. <clears throat> ok, class. So, how was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? Nice. No estuvo pesado. Busy. Really. Working. Working. You were working, Filomena. Saturday all day long. El sábado todo el día trabajó. O solamente mm. por la mañana. Only in the morning. No. Good afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. So, in the yes. afternoon is, you know, tougher than in the morning, right? En la tarde es como que más pesado que en la mañana, ¿verdad? Maybe because of the yes. weather. Quizás por el calor se siente así como un poquito más, más pesado. Sí. Okay. And what about you, Carlos Miguel? Did you work on the weekend? Um, very, very trabajado. Ah, very busy. A very, very busy, busy day. Ok. Trabajé sábado todo el día y domingo en la mañana. Ah, oh, why? Le cambiaron así, turno. Ah, no, así es mi horario. Así me toca, toca así que lo par. Ok, that's really interesting. Uh -huh. Ok, so we're going to get started because today is our session number 15. Nuestra clase número 15, solo nos quedan cinco más para que terminemos. De hecho, el próximo lunes estaremos terminando, ¿verdad? Así es que yo cordialmente les invito a que continúen trabajando en la plataforma, ¿sí? Y no sé si estarán presentando problemas algunos nuevamente para ingresar. ¿A ustedes no les costó ingresar, chicos? ¿No? ¿A la clase? No, no, ahorita no porque ya lo... Ya lo agregué ahí. Al, al, el, el eje como cuando lo que pedía era, uh -huh. era una, ¿cómo se llama? Una verificación. Ah, ok. Ajá, entonces le pedía que pusiera el correo y al correo le enviaba el enlace. Ah, entonces, ya. Ajá, por eso es que cuando... Entonces Verónica, ya de desenlace ya. Ya no hay problema. Ajá. Por eso es que cuando Verónica les compartió su enlace a los demás, todo el mundo salía como Verónica. <risa> Porque ese enlace ya estaba con Es su individual, nombre. es individual. Ajá. Oh, es. creo que es situación de, de seguridad, ¿verdad? Sí, es actualización de seguridad. Ok. Bueno, mientras los demás se unen, vamos a comenzar el repaso, ¿sí les parece? Sí, está bien. Porque luego nos ha... Uh -huh, more than ten. And here we go. <clears throat> ok, it is the... so glad for me that you are here. And here we go. Let's get started. Okay, class. So today is <clears throat> Monday, October 24th, 2022. Yes. And it is our session number 15. And in order to uh, go over and continue with our agenda for today's class, our video conference number 15, let me tell you that it is going to be about review and practice, yeah? So the first activity as every day is greetings, a feedback or review of what we did in the previous classes because today we're going to finish section number three. The task we are, we're going to read also the objectives as every day. And we are going to continue with the pre-task, as I told you guys, to describe activities using the present continuous. And then in the preparation task, we have to describe activities using the present continuous too. And also the task to describe activities using the present continuous, okay? So here, 
we have the objectives for today's class. And I need one of you to help me, okay? Reading, please. Who wants to help me reading? ¿Quién me va a ayudar a leer? Hello. Only one. Yo me ayudo a ti. Okay, thank you, Filomena. One, one girl is going to read today the objectives. I'm going to diminish, to diminish this so you can see them better, okay? Begin. Okay. Please. Specific objective. Participants will be able to describe it activity using present continuous. Class objective. Participants will be able to, to talk about activities using present continuous. Thank you so much for your participation. I really appreciate that, Filomena. So class, as uh, Filomena Luz told you, the specific objective for today's class is that all of you as participants will be able to describe activities using present continuous. And we take from the specific objective, the class objective that participants will be able to talk. Talk, remember here when we pronounce the verb talk, you forget about el, we don't say talk, we say talk, okay? Talk about activities using present continuous. And here class, again, a reminder for all of you about the homeworks and evaluations. If by any reason you didn't have time last week or in the weekend to finish with the activities, the homeworks for unit number three in the platform, I cordially invite you to do it, okay? Because I need to update your averages and your grades because tomorrow we're going to start with section four, unit four, and very soon you're going to be turning into level number three. Congratulations, class. But congrats because most of you did it already, okay? Most of you, not all of you, but almost everybody. No todo lo han hecho, pero la mayoría sí ya lo hizo. Then we continue here with the requirements for the class. Your name, full name, Okay, camera on during the session, toda la sesión, dice acá. The sound off, unless you are required to activate the microphone. And active participation as every day you do it. Y activa, eh, participación activa como lo hacen siempre. Congratulations on that. Again, a reminder for the attendance. 120 minutes, 60 minutes, and 60 minutes, 120, right? The attendance is taken twice, and at the end, one of you is going to remain with me in order to have the one-on-one -on -one session, okay, in order to reinforce or to clarify or to practice any topic. Here, only to remind you that you need to have your camera on, the uh, mute bottom, okay, camera on, the chats are available the, in the breakout rooms. You have also the bottom to ask for help and always remembering and reminding you that respect must be put into practice. And here we are, okay. This is our week number three, and tomorrow we start with week number four. That is why I am cordially inviting you to continue working in the platform. And here we start with the feedback. Let's see, we have been working in this section number three, guys, with the present continuous in order to express future events or future arrangements. Yeah, but also we have been contrasting the present continuous with the meaning 
of a future and the present continuous for ongoing situations. Ongoing situation is to say that the activities are taking place at the moment. If I say, what am I doing? Mm, you are drinking water, you are going to tell me. What am I doing? Mm, you're checking your cell phone. You're checking the WhatsApp yeah, of the class. That is an ongoing situation, event. Esa es una acción que se está ejecutando en el momento, ongoing. And here we have the structure. The subject, I, he, she, it, you, we, or they. And the modal auxiliary verb to be, for I, we use am. For he, she, it, third person singular is. For you, singular or plural. We and they, we use are. And we need to add ing to the main or principal verb. And here we have some examples, okay? I think we are clear about that. And over here, we were using also during this unit, the WH question words, but using the present continuous, okay? For example, why is the meeting, uh, why is he meeting the new people today? When is the new office launching? Where is your boss having the annual meeting? And at the beginning, if you remember, I asked, because I only have two students, Carlos Miguel and Filomena Luz, how was your weekend? And they told me, it was very busy. And then I say, why? I use this WH question word. And then they said, because I had to work. Both of them work on the weekend. That is why, okay, it was not a real weekend for Carlos or Filomena. Why? Because they were working. And if you remember class, you were filling in the blanks using the words in parentheses. For example, what company are you working for? I am working for, if you ask me, Miss Irma, Miss Irma Carballo, what company are you working for? And then I tell you, I am working for Inglés Corporativo, or I am working for Regal International, which is the same, yes? But let me see, if I say right now, uh, Jonathan, what company are you working for? Uh, I, I work for SAC Integral, okay. SACB, yeah. Now, Jonathan, ask the question to another classmate. What company are you working for? Okay, Blanca Delgado. Eh, repeat the, the ask, please. Okay. Me repite la pregunta que no me recuerdo. Okay, <laughs> what company are you working for? Okay, Blanca, what company are you working for? We don't listen to your to your answer, Blanqui. Maybe you are having problems with your microphone, Blanca. No se le escucha la respuesta. Probablemente tiene problemas con el micrófono, Blanca. Si lo si se lo acerca un poco más, tal vez, Blanca. No le escuchamos la respuesta, Blanca. So, Jonathan, ask the question to another partner. Okay, ya se me olvidó trabajar. No problem. <laughs> what company are you working for? What company are okay. you working for? Okay, Nilton. Hola. Hello. Hello, Tete. Ah, okay, great. Now, okay, Nilton, hold that, hold that second, okay? Wait a minute. Um, Jonathan, ask the question again to Blanca Delgado. What company are you working Hello. for? Blanky, where are you? You vanish, you disappear, Blanky. Okay, ask the question to Nilton. Jonathan? Hi, Nilton. What company 
Yeah. Yes, are you working? Hey, come on. What <laughs> company are you working? It is Monday. That's why. What okay. company are you working for? What company? No, you, no. Th no. This one. <laughs> this one. What company are you working okay. for? What okay. company are you working for? What company are you working for? for? Okay, Nilton. What company are you working for? I am work from Bridge Intermodal Transport. I am working for blah, blah, blah. Okay. Carlos Miguel, now you listen to us. Ahora nos escucha, Carlos Miguel. O no nos escucha. Yes. Okay. A Blanqui era quien no le escuchaba la respuesta. Sí. Sí, Carlos, no. es que usted escribió, no se escucha. Ah, it was oh, at the beginning. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, sí. great. Okay, Nilton, <laughs> now you have to ask the question to another partner. Nilton. What is the question? Ay, my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Oh, my God, no, no, no. Here, number one, what company are you working for? What company are you working for? Okay, Carlos, what company are you working for? Um, I am working in... No, for, I am working for... I am, I am working for University Gerardo Barrios. Okay, Carlos, ask the question to another partner. Repeat question, please. Here you have it, number one. What company are you working for? Ah, okay. I my God, today what, is Monday. What, <laughs> what, what company are you working for? for? The question goes to? Um, Clelia. Miss Clelia? Hello. Okay, Carlos Miguel ask you the question. What company are you working for? What company are you working for, Clelia? I am working for Varsity Pro. Now, Clelia, ask the question to another partner, please. Mm, para, para David. David. Okay. But, what company are you working for? I work I working for Stack Integral. I'm working Bye. for I'm working for blah blah blah. Okay. Now David, you ask the question to another partner, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, Filomena. Okay. Filomena, what company are are you working for? I am working for Grupo Lorena. Okay, Filomena, please ask the question to another partner. Okay. Um, Juan Ezequiel. Juan Ezequiel. Juan. Juan, are you here? Let me see if Juan is again. Miren, Ani dice que, que, que tiene problemas para ingresar y que con el link que está acá no, no. Ok. Le vamos a, a compartir este enlace. Tal vez por ahí puede. ¿Verdad? Ingresar. Okay, so uh, Juan, no, Juan is not here, but you may ask the question to Ana Veronica, William. Okay. Okay, Ana Veronica, entonces. Okay, Ana Veronica. What, what company are you working for? Perdón, 
Voy entrando, teacher, me veo. Yes, yes, we listen to you. Me encendía la cámara y no salía igual el micrófono, no sé qué pasó. Ah, uh, ok, uh, ok, that happened to me at the beginning, I don't know, maybe something strange is happening with Zoom. Ok, guys, listen, we are in the feedback, waiting for you, ok, but right now your classmates are asking one another this question. What company, in exercise for number one, as a feedback, what company are you working for? Ok, this is the question, and then you say, I am working for, if you ask me, uh, Miss Irma, what company are you working for? I tell you, I am working for Inglés Corporativo, or I am working for Regal International, which is the same for Inglés Corporativo, okay? So this is the question, Vero. What company are you working for? Okay? I'm working in Deloitte. I'm working for Deloitte. Yes. Now you, Blanqui, uh, sorry, Ana Veronica, ask the question to Juan. Okay, what company are you working for? Number one. What company are you working for? A one. I am working in Mission Bautista International Salvador. I am working for Mission Bautista International El Salvador. Now, Juan, ask the question to William. What company are you working for? Okay, what company are you working for? for. Mm -hmm. William. I work in the Sally. Okay. Okay, now let me see if there is someone else over here. William, ask the question to Danny. Danny, what company are you working for? Are you working for Sarana? Okay, excellent. Very well, now everybody's done. So we continue with the feedback, okay? And here, if you remember, we were also working with this, yeah? You were building some questions and you ask your classmates and you wrote the answers to the questions that you built in the breakout rooms, yeah? Using the WH question words. For example, if I say, uh, Carlos Miguel, I have a question for you. Carlos, where are you living now? I am living in San Buenaventura. I am living in San Buenaventura. So it is an ongoing situation. It is not as a future. It is ongoing situation. Yes? Okay. Very well. And you were building the questions and you were asking and answering to your partners, right? And here... This is another reminder. If you remember class, you were asking and answering these three questions. What events are taking place at your work place these days? And you were answering, where are these events taking place and who is organizing them? And you were perfectly answering these three questions, yeah? Do you remember? Because I remember you were very actively um, practicing the speaking here. Okay. Practicing this conversation between Rita and Luis. I need two participants, two volunteers to practice this conversation here in the main session room. Who wants to try? Only two volunteers. Okay, Danny, thank you so much. Danny is going to be Luis. And okay, Carlos, you're going to play the second role today. Okay, so you begin, Carlos. Hello, okay. Okay, Carlos, you begin with the conversation. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita. The new secretary. Uh, I just want to confirm uh, some information. 
Okay, Rita, you tell me. I want to know uh, who are attending uh, the annual conference this year and where is it talking place? Will the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room, Rita, by the way, when are the material arriving? Do you do you know? Uh, Gori, yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, thank you for your participation. Luis, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place, taking, taking place. Well, the IT, IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room, Rita. By the way, when are the materials arriving? Arriving, not arriving, arriving, arriving. Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Now, two more participants, but we forget about Rita and Luis. You are going to use your real names, okay? Two more participants to practice the conversation, okay? Since you don't volunteer, I'm going to volunteer you. And here... Blanqui, would you like to play the role for Rita? Yes. Hola, hoy sí me escucha. Okay, great, excellent, yes. And let's see. Okay. William, are you available? William. William, are you available? Yes? Okay, you're going to play the role of Luis, but using your names, okay? So to the count of three, you begin. Blanqui, to the count of three. One, two, three. Luis? No, 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 Luis, no, William, 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 good afternoon, this is Blanca, your name, okay, okay, ahorita, yeah, William, Good afternoon. This is uh, Blanca, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hola. Escucha. Hola, ¿Me William, yo sí le escuché. Hola. No me escucho. Me escuchan. Yo sí le escucho. Hola. Estática. Pero yo sí le escuché. Usted no le escuchó nada, William. Uh -huh. Entrecortado. Vaya, entonces usted sigue con su con su parlamento. Hey, Blanca, sure, tell me, ¿ok? Hey, Blanca, sure, tell me. Hola, me perdí. Ya leyó William. Hey, Blanca, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year. Talking place. Taking place. Vamos a... 
Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room, Blanca, be the way. When are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it, Friday morning. Ok, miren, hay algunos compañeros que no pueden ingresar, van a disculpar, pero les estaba mandando los enlaces, pero al menos ya tengo un mejor grupo. Serafín ya la habrá logrado ingresar, porque hacia ah, si acá está Serafín y Vania también tenía problemas, qué bueno que lograron ingresar. Miren, Ay, fíjense que, que, que con el enlace, así como les pedía la verificación, ya solo hacen clic en el enlace ese e ingresan, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál era el problema que le presentaba a Ivania y a Serafín? Bueno, ahí me cuenta cuando, cuando tenga... El, el mío creo que te conexión, teacher. Oh. Ajá, porque me salía ahí que eh, conexión... Inestable. Inestable, ajá. Ok. Y con don Serafín... A saber qué le pasa. Buenas noches. Ajá, ¿cuál era el problema? Eh, el enlace como que no está actualizado y tengo que volver. No era como antes que lo hacía directo. Pero, que... cuando, pero cuando ya se lo reenvía, parece ser al, al, al correo, ya le queda sí. ahí y desde ahí solo ingrese desde ahí cuando le manda la confirmación al correo. ¿Sí? Yo tengo que enviar, ajá, yo lo veo del WhatsApp y del WhatsApp lo tengo que pasar al, al correo y de mi correo tengo que ingresar. Solo así me ha dado, me ha dado paso. Y del que la semana pasada en la máquina eh, no le daba ingreso en su correo. No, no, tengo que hacerlo del WhatsApp al correo y del correo a la, me meto a la, a la, a la reunión. Ok. Me pido entonces, un código de confirmación. Ajá, sí, es que está más, por más seguridad, ¿verdad? Correcto. Pero entonces traten de, 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 ahora que ya saben los pasos, ya directo a hacerlo, ¿sí? Ok, sí. <ríe> great. Okay. Hello, oh, Edwin, Roberto, thank you, Dimas, thank you for being here en Blanqui. Bien, entonces, miren, antes de que sigamos, como ya, yo estaba esperando, ¿verdad?, que eh, se unieran más compañeros debido a esta situación, no había pasado la asistencia, entonces, en este momento, voy a tomar la primera asistencia, ¿de acuerdo? Ana Marlene. Present teacher. Oh, you're here, great. Ana Verónica. Present. Thank you. Brandon, are you here, Brandon? Brandon. Brandon is absent. Okay, at the moment. Carlos Miguel. Here I am. Always here, yeah. always here. Carmen, Carmen Guadalupe. Absent at the moment. Clelia, Miss Clelia, hello. Thank you. Danny, de, uh, Danny. Hey, um. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present teacher. Uh, Edwin, Roberto, Edwin, where are you? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Ivania. Jenny, Caroline, Caroline. I saw you. Okay, great. Jonathan. Present. Here. Okay, from the beginning today. Jose Dimas, thank you for joining. Present teacher. Jose Manuel, I saw Jose. Present teacher. Okay, oh, we're happy because you are here. Okay, welcome back from, from vacation. Welcome from vacations. <laughs> <laughs> Jose Mario at the moment is absent. Marlene. She's here. Marlene, Oneida. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Marlene. Nilton, Nilton. Present. Great. Serafin. Serafin, where are you? Did you leave? Ahí en, okay. Ahí en, okay, excellent. Don't leave the room. Don't leave the room. William, always here. Present. Thank you. Filomena Luz. Present teacher. Blanqui, 
Blanca Luz. Great, great. Alejandra Michel. I don't know what happened to Alejandra Michel. Okay, Beatriz absent. Noé, also he always has problems with the connectivity. Okay. Did I mention all your names? Did I call your names? Yeah. Only, let me see. Jose Mario, Noé, Beatriz, and she was never here, Alejandra Michel. Okay. And also um, Carmen and Brando. Later on, probably they are going to join. Okay, class, here we go. Let's continue with the feedback. Let's remember the pronunciation, okay? Arriving, let's make emphasis. Forget about the Spanish. Don't say arriving, arriving, arriving. Materials arriving, IT. Don't say IT, no. It is extraterrestrial, the movie film. This is IT, about information technology, who is attending. And you were working with the completion of these exercises for the conversation, yes? Okay. So what else did you do? What are temporary activities you are doing at your workplace these days? You were asking and answering this question. And this other one, what about your coworkers? You were mentioning some of the activities that your workers are doing, okay, as temporary activities these days, using also the present continuous. And here we have this conversation, okay? Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence, que coincidencia. What a coincidence, but with exclamation mark, if you notice. Miren exclamation mark, what a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. Yo estoy estudiando por mi cuenta. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. And you were sharing the strategies that you are using in order to improve your English. Okay. Now tell me, what are those activities that you are using not only the class, because the class is not enough. In the module, you have some links that you may click on, and then you're going to have more practice. But any other strategy that you are using in order to practice more English, maybe listening or speaking or reading, tell me, okay, let's brainstorm some of the strategies that you are using. Listen music, teacher. Okay, mm -hmm. I am listening to music. Okay, excellent. Very well. In English, I hope. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, very well. What else are you doing? Any other technique class that you are using to improve your English? Hey, don't let me down. I'm going to cry. No están practicando. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Okay, I caricaturas en inglés. Ah, that's great. We learn a lot. Okay, watching cartoons in English with our kids. Why? Because they speak native English and we learn vocabulary and they speak kind of slow and clear, right? So children can understand. And actually many people have learned the language using that strategy or listening to the to the news in English. Yes, that is another very good strategy. Or another one that is very good is to have your social networks in English. Tener las redes sociales en inglés. That helps a lot. And also 
to have uh, some virtual friends who speak the language. Yeah, and then you interact. That is another good strategy. Yeah. And writing a journal. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. Writing journals in English because also you practice writing, reading, and vocabulary, right? Because if you don't know a word, you look it up in a dictionary or a, on the internet nowadays, and then you learn vocabulary. That is an excellent strategy too. Congratulations, okay? So you were practicing this conversation too, if you remember. But right now I need two volunteers, but I want you to sound natural, okay? Quiero que suenen naturales as native speech uh, speakers, okay? Uh, and you are going to replace, let's forget about Ever and Beth. You are going to use your names and the same conversation, okay? Two volunteers to practice this right now here in the main session room. Okay, Carlos, you begin. I need one more participant. It can be a he or a she because you are going to use your names, your real names. Okay, Carlos is going to begin. Who's going to practice with Carlos? Hello, hello, wake up, wake up. Today is Monday, it's our class 15. Yeah. Okay, Marlene, you're going to read Beth, but remember you use your names, okay? Carlos, to the count of three, you begin. One, two, three. Carlos, begin. Microphone, Carlos. We don't listen to you. Aha! <laughs> revenge, revenge <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hi, hi, Marlene. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Carlos. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I'm talking on English course these days. How, how about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace the day, these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these, day, these days. You're right. I'm studying on my own. You know, I'm really nervous to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing, uh, I am doing a listening exercise. They have help a lot. Excellent. Only remember, taking coincidence, taking I am studying, I am reading, I am doing. What are you doing these days? ¿Qué haces en estos días? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Ahora, okay, these days, estos días, en la actualidad, in other words, right? How about you? Una sola frase, how about you? ¿Y tú? ¿Qué me dice de, 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 tu, de, de, de tu vida? Okay, how about you? Yeah. Okay, so uh, I think no problem over here. And here, okay, you were answering based on the previous conversation these two questions. What are some of the things Ever and Beth are doing these days? And you said, do you remember the answers? They are taking. English classes, yes? And in number two, what things do you have in common with the people in the conversation? Do you remember the answer to this question? What is it? What is the answer to question number two? What things do you have in common with the people in the conversation? ¿Qué es lo que ustedes tienen en común con la gente de la, de la conversación? Uh, studying, uh, studying English. English, very well. We are studying English too. Excellent. And here, right now, we're going to go over pages 34 and 38. But first, let me tell you this, okay? What special events, what special events do you have at your workplace during the year? in order to get people distressed. ¿Cuáles son los eventos especiales que tienen ustedes en el año, en su trabajo, en su lugar de trabajo, para que la gente se desestrese? 
So you are happy employees. Your smile is from here to here because of the events that the company prepares for you. Christmas party. <laughs> okay, Christmas party. Excellent. Another one? Otra actividad? Another you go to the beach, teacher. Oh, really? You go to the beach with your co-workers. When, Marlene? Okay. About June. In June, in the middle okay. of the in uh -huh, in the mm -hmm. middle of the year. Excellent. Mm -hmm. But is it for a training or just to relax? Just to relax. Excellent. Very well. And Carlos, you were to say something. Um, bonus day, they pay. Ah, oh, that is relaxing for you when they pay the bonus. Okay, great. Happy. That, that makes you happy. Excellent. And in the rest of the companies, y en el resto de las compañías, we go to the beach. Really, Edwin. And what is the purpose to go to the beach with the co-workers, with the colleagues? Y el propósito de la actividad, Edwin? Just to relax, to have fun or to have a no, training? Relax, to relax. Okay, but the company prepares, organizes that event. Pero la compañía les prepara ese evento. O ustedes? Como empleados. Oh, excellent. Very well. Great. Congratulations. I am asking you about this because look at this. Check what I'm going to share with you. Now we're going to move to working with the manual, but please pay close attention. Here we have organized yoga classes, celebrate birthdays, paintball activities, and guess who? Adivina quién? Guess who? So if you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes in the employees, right? Number two, celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rely on business games to boost morale. Simply an acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, a card, have a cake once a month, or simply buy them around. Of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday, only to invite a cup of coffee that could be a good celebration and maybe they are going to appreciate it. Paintball, give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out though, as the boss, you are going to be a prime target if you are participating in the paintball as the boss, okay? Guess who? This activity is really interesting. Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo when you were a child of themselves and put them all around a board and get everyone to put their best guesses. Y ask que ellos escriban sus mejores deseos para esa persona que está ahí. Okay. Forward on each one. It's a bit of easy light-hearted fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way, okay? 
now I have to ask you this, guys, about picture, um, sorry, activity number four that is related to pictures when we were children. Do you have pictures when you were children? ¿Tiene fotografías cuando eran niños y niñas? Yes, yes, I do or no, I don't. Yes, yes I, I do. do. But probably when you were six months old or one year old or three years old, the oldest. O cuando tenían tres años, lo, lo más. Yeah, because remember that human beings, we are a metamorphosis. We are always changing. And do you look like, uh, okay, do you keep the, some features when you were a little boy or a little girl? Y en su opinión, ustedes guardan algunos <clears throat> rasgos de cuando eran bebés, cuando eran niños, o han cambiado totalmente. El gancho del ombligo. <laughs> that is different. Okay. Because remember, that is why the name of the activity is Guess Who. Adivinen quién es. Okay. Because many people change a lot. Many people, they say that they were blonde when they were uh, little children. And that usually happens, that the color of our hair changes. And in many cases also, the color of our eyes. Yes? When they are not uh, pure. Cuando no son puros, cambian los ojos azules y se convierten en verdes. Yeah? Because it is not the first generation. Porque no es la primera generación. Entonces, cambia. Yeah? Do you know somebody who has happened that? ¿Conocen a alguien a quien le ha sucedido eso? The color of the eyes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. My yeah, my baby was also, my little yes. boy was blue eyes and uh, his eyes uh, began to turn kind of uh, a little bit different when he turned about 11, yeah? So this happens, yeah? And that is why the activity is guess who? Por eso la actividad es adivina quién, because there are significant changes in some cases. Now that you have heard me reading those four activities, I ask you, what other activities do you have in your company? ¿Qué otras actividades tienen en su compañía? Besides going to the beach or maybe <clears throat> celebrating the birthdays or the company's anniversary. And celebrate uh, Independence Day. Okay, excellent, very well. And I ask you, do you celebrate in any of your companies the Thanksgiving Day? Yes or no? Nobody celebrates Thanksgiving Day in the companies at work? Nadie celebra Acción de Gracias? No. No. Okay. Day off in the beard, in beard Day. Ah, they give you the day off when it is your birthday, okay? When you are the birthday boy, you have the day off. And that is the best for you, yes? Because you wake up very late, yeah? You sleep as a baby. Okay, so class, right now, what are you going to do? <clears throat> Here, we have one, two, three, four paragraphs. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. You are going to read the four paragraphs. All the students in each group are going to read the four paragraphs. When you finish reading the four paragraphs, you are going to answer these items. You read each sentence and you, as a group, determine based on this information that you have read many times if it is true or false, okay? Is it clear? Yeah. Okay, now listen, you have this in your manual at page 34. Entonces no necesitan que les comparta la imagen, ¿verdad? No. No. Okay, no, great. Yes. Okay, somebody said yes. Okay, so I'm going to share with you guys uh, over here. Okay. Via WhatsApp, I'm sharing with you. Hey, what happened to WhatsApp? 
Okay, hold it. Mm. Hold it because I don't know what happened to. Mm, let me see if right now it is yes here. Okay, class, there you are. And now remember to practice pronunciation, okay? Don't run and try to read in the correct way because very soon you're going to turn in module number three. Porque pronto estarán en el nivel tres. So your performance on speaking and reading must be better every single day. That is the intention. Not to read oh, very fast and that's it. No, you practice as much as possible, please. And here we go. Okay, four, 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 four. Mm. Okay. I sent you the invitation. Please join your groups. Go to your groups and begin their reading, aloud practice, and answering. Okay. Join your groups. Join your groups and practice. Go to your groups and practice. Serafin, I need you in group number two. William, okay. Serafin, go to group number two. And Blanqui, I need you in group number four. Serafin, al equipo número dos. Le llegó la invitación, ¿verdad? No, no le escucho, será fin, si activa el micrófono, tal vez. Ahorita. <risa> <risa> Revenge, ajá, si me agarran ustedes a veces, no, no le escucho el micrófono. Ok, group number two, Serafín, please. ¿Cómo me conecto? Y yo Pero. le envié la invitación. Es que no le di clic ahí. Lo voy a enviar a otro equipo. ¿Le parece? O al Chu, o al Chu está bien, al dos. Pues sí, pero si no le ha llegado la invitación. Es que se pasó el tiempo, espérenme. ¿En el WhatsApp lo, lo busco? No, aquí. Vaya, ah, lo pues voy a enviar no. a otro equipo. Envíeme a otro equipo, pues. Ajá, para que, pero <ríe> este es el listo, ok, al equipo 4. Está bien. Ok, right now pay attention. Papá. Ay, no, moví a otra persona. ¿Por qué en eso? Permítame, le voy a enviar. Serafín, Serafín, lo voy a mover a otro equipo y luego lo, lo voy a traer de regreso, ¿le parece? Está bien, está bien. Ok, va al equipo uno y luego lo regreso acá, ¿ok? Está bien. Ya le envié la invitación. I sent you the invitation, ¿ok? Uh. Hola, ya le voy a traer a algunos compañeros y que fíjese que Serafín estaba en este equipo, pero resulta que lo tuve que mover porque no logró la invitación, pero le voy a enviar a algunos de... No me había dado cuenta que solo yo estaba. <risa> bueno, ya le traigo a Ivania para acá, para el equipo 2, porque allá tengo un equipo de 5. Ah, ok, okay. Ivania va a estar acá con usted y Serafín. De hecho, Ivania está acá, pero Serafín no se ha logrado unir, no sé por qué. Entonces, es que fíjese que a Edwin me lo dejaron solito y Serafín no se ha logrado unir, está teniendo problemas, ok. So, practice the activity, please. And hold it. Yo, es que yo ya estaba acá y, y, y me sacó. Me ah, en este que... grupo con ellos. Ok, acá está Serafín, Edwin e Ivania. Ok, begin please. Bye. 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 Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Here you are with Juan Ezequiel and William. Ok, cada quien tiene que leer los cuatro párrafos. Cada quien tiene que leer los cuatro párrafos en voz alta, ¿verdad? So you practice reading and pronunciation. And later as a team you determine if these sentences are true or false. ¿Ok? 
Sí, pero no sé si es que ellos tienen problemas con el audio, con algo, porque siento que estoy sola y rato estoy hablando. No, aquí está Juan, ya, ya está conectado con el micrófono. Y William, hello William. Y así me pasó con otro equipo, por eso no venía, porque estaba tratando de organizarle en un equipo. Me dejaron solito a Edwin Roberto. Dicho que en la, repito la pronunciación, en el segundo párrafo, párrafo, en la segunda línea, después de simple, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Dice que no lo alcanzo a visualizar. Simple. Boost. To boost morale. Morale. To boost morale. Simply acknowledging. Acknowledging. Agradeciendo. Acknowledging special. Ok. Acknowledging. O atribuyéndole. Reconociéndole. Uh -huh. Acknowledging. Acknowledging. Simply acknowledging. Ok, Marlene. Marlene, Ana Marlene, are you here? Sí, sí. Ok, William is with the microphone open and Juan Ezequiel is here, ok? Let's begin with the reading practice. Acknowledging. Acknowledging, ok. Yeah, see you. Ok, number one. Organize uh, yoga classes. In your work in the office, office of I. Sorry. <laughs> Bye, as digo. Ask every year to bring a chilled hot pot of pencils and put them all up on a board, board and then get every term to put their best guess. Forward to more or simply at nowhere special action can have a big important. It shows your team that you're current about team as no sé cómo se teacher Hello Acknowledging 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 okay mm -hmm. Acknowledging Yeah Um, okay, workers can play paintball inside the office, eh, dentro de la oficina. Um, um, opportunities. Can play paintball inside the office. No, 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 no play inside the office. Ya leyeron todos, oigan, ya, oigan, ya leyeron todos los cuatro párrafos yes. en voz alta. Yes. 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 Seguro yes. ya me lo van a leer después. Ok. Ok. Bye. Bye. <risa> Solo ustedes tres eran o alguien más eh, perdió la conexión. Uh, Jenny, David, and Carlos. Ah, ok, maybe that is why you have Let's speed up. Okay, see you. Continue practicing. Okay, Your thank time. you. Let me see. Simple getting off the oh, office. Ah, uh, uh, no, no. Someone in your team has a beer guy. Five. Have your employer an opportunity to live of some Steam with organizing a die on fiber. Sim, sim, simply eight all of the office track work. Wonder all stuff mornings. Wax all show as the box. You're going to be a prime. Charity, push, hope, 
از ابر کیو دوبرین اچیل خود پولو اوکس دنسیل بیس این پود دین ار او اون ابار این تین گیب ابر گیونیس تو خوب دیس بکتریس پول گود اون ار گوان ایس ساوی اوکس ایسی لیکس هر فونده هی دفیمیتی هر لیکس سپیر وایس اور کی بلینس اور یو همه آلون ده وایس Next. Ok. ¿Alguien más? Filomena Luz. Hello. Hello, hello. Ok. Comienzo. Organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computer every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga call up on their attitude in our look yoga can help alleviate stress call the need resistance improve its brain function and leave more what Boost walls, walking one, those out, outcomes. Celebrate birthday. You don't just have to rally on this losing game. To boost morals, Sim simply and nobly sing special. A caption can have a bit in pain. In show your thing that you care about things. As people now use as employees, chat every own to sing a car. How K owns a mode or similar by ten around by ten around of. Coffee, H, T, T, Some one. Your day as a birthday. A birthday. Babies. Get your employees an opportunity to live of song is thanked by organizing a day of paper. Simply get it off, off on the office come work wonder for staff morally wants Oh, songs 
as the bus you're going to be a print target. Just who? At every own to bring a children photo photo on the pencil and but then I'll put on a board 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 and and then check every on to put to but their base chances for 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 once on eight on it a bit of ace like a them for the will the wall the family else let a spirit will will of friends plants on of or more along along the way and that's it <clears throat> okay listen to me Filomena group organize yoga classes if you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes, okay? Now, class, did you already answer the, the sentences? Did you determine if they were true or false or not yet? ¿Aún no han determinado si las oraciones son falsas o verdaderas? I'm not ah, okay, continue. continue. Okay, everybody finish reading. Todos leyeron okay. ya. No, solo falta mi persona. Ah, okay. You read and then you continue mm -hmm. with the answers, okay? Bye. Okay. Bye, teacher. Gracias. Okay. Attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve the brain functions, and leave mood. What was gold goldman goldman wants those outcomes? Uh, celebrate birthday. You don't just have to really on business games to boost morally. Sim simple acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people not just as employees, yet every every young to sing and care. Have, have case once a month or simple by saying around of COVID age. Of coffee age time someone in your team as birthdays. Pine belt. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some, some steam by organizing a day of pine balls. Some people getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morally. Watch out through as the boss you're going to be a prime target. With who? Ask everyone to bring a chill, chill hole photo of tensor bus and put in a little pump aboard and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It is a bit of AC 
like hearts from that will definitely help like spirits will offering plenty of humor along the way. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Nomesan. Excellent. Excelente, Serafín. No lo, no, no lo veo muy, muy así de corazón. <risa> I didn't want to interrupt you. I didn't want to interrupt you because you say, ah, the teacher is going to interrupt me. Or the teacher corrected me. Ok. So you say, ok, later I'm going to tell you in general. In class, now you have to determine if these sentences are true or false, ok? If all of you finish reading, of course. ¿Todos terminaron de leer ya? Yes. Ok, now go over the second part of the exercise, ¿ya? Yeah? Ok. Ok. okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Yeah, bye, bye. <laughs> ok. Yoga has an important effect on employees. Bye, Nilton. Nilton, yeah, welcome. I'm, yeah, I'm here because of Nilton because he had problems with his connectivity. Please yeah, give him a chance to practice problem. reading, okay? Okay. Be nice. Okay, Nilton. The reading is all yours. <laughs> okay, okay. Enjoy the reading. Comienza a leer, Nilton. First, organize yoga classes. Is you work in an office and your employees are assisting a computer every day. Don't underestimate the the impact yoga call have on Did you finish the reading? Yes. Yes, teacher, sí. Yes. Okay, and you already answered. Okay, let me see. According to you, class, yoga, and according to you and your vision from the reading, because remember that it may be my opinion, but according to the reading, because it is according to what has been expressed in the different paragraphs. Yoga has important effects true yes and in your in your workplaces people do you have any practice like with a psychologist with some therapist as a group in order to get this stress or maybe in some uh, companies they have a room so you can practice aerobics yeah or in some other places they have a, a gym so the employees can exercise no it doesn't happen in your companies or yes no teacher no nothing yes, no, I don't. okay and blanky what do they have in your company yes ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué? Aerobic, aerobic. Ah, you have aerobic uh, classes. I gym. Ah, and there is a gym. In the right carreras, ¿cómo se llama? Ah, races. Races. They organize races. races. Uh -huh, yes. Like marathons, yes? Yes. Hey, and do you participate? Yes. <laughs> oh, great. Excellent. And when is the time for the aerobic classes? Uh, is it at noon or at night in the evening? When is the time in, for? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. Yes. Okay. Excellent. But aerobics, not yoga, right? Uh -huh, yes. Because probably... Aerobic. Most people want to practice aerobics instead of yoga in order to lose some weight, yeah? And you get this stress, yes? Yes, yes, yes. When you exercise, you get this stress, okay? Very well. Either it is yoga, pilates, or aerobics, or any other, or at the gym, you do it on your own, you get this stress, yeah? And it, it, yeah. it helps a lot in your mental health yeah let me see okay room number two one student was out but now he's in okay class so right now i think uh, 
uh, all the groups because some of your problem of your partners have been in troubles with the internet connectivity. I don't know why, and they are still reading. But here, everybody, everything was okay, and nobody. <gasps> jo, Jonathan, Jonathan is here. Okay, okay, great, excellent. So I think we're going to move to the main session room right now. Yeah. So we yeah. can standardize the answers. And here we go. Thank you so much for your active participation in the breakout rooms. Okay. William is still in there. Let's wait for William a couple of seconds. Now everybody is back. And here we go, okay. Let's see class. Organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate, underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude, attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate alleviate stress, calm the mind, calm the mind, release, release tension, release tension, improve brain function, improve brain function, and lift mood, lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rely, not really. Really is really. This is rely on business game. Rely on depender de o contar solo con business games. <clears throat> To boost morale, simply acknowledging, acknowledging, acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people. Le muestra tu equipo que a ti te importan ellos como personas, no solo como empleados. Get everyone to sign a card, have a cake once a month, or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Paintball. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply, simple, no, simply, simply getting out of the office can work wonders. Con solo salir de la oficina se logran maravillas. Can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out though, as the boss, you're going to be a prime target. Guess who? Adivina quién? Guess who? Ask everyone Ask everyone, everyone to bring a childhood. Childhood, no, it doesn't exist. Childhood photo of themselves and put them all up 
on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, lighthearted, fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. Now, number one, according to you class, yoga has, according to you and the information in the reading, yoga has an important effect on employees. Is it true or false? True. True. Number two, yoga releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. Is it true or false? False. false. Because both, okay? Based on the reading, spatial locations are not important. True or false? False. False. False, because we are human beings, so everything matters. Number four, workers can play paintball inside the office is it true or false 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 because imagine false. playing paintball you don't have a space enough in order to hide yes and besides when you okay and then all the paint is going to be over the the office no so it is a false Childhood photos, childhood photos, photo de la infancia, childhood photos can offend employees, true or false? What do you think? False. False, because we laugh oh, look at him. Look at yourself, the way you were when you were a little boy and the way that uh, your mother or father used to calm your hair. Es, es eh, divertido porque se ve como te peinaban cuando era pequeño. Yeah, and your expression also. So that is why it is a relaxing activity, yeah? And now class, uh, I was talking in a group with one of, uh, with some of your partners and she was telling me it was a shit that in her workplace, they have aerobic classes to relax and also they have a gym. Yes, so those are other activities that help a lot to have a happy employees because you get this stress with those activities. Now the question is for everybody in your companies, uh, do you have any other activity in order to have happy employees to get rid of the stress para deshacerse del estrés? Yes, Dimas, tell us please. Teacher, ¿podrías hacernos o hacerme el favor de leer la parte de Guess Who? Guess Who, ok. Sí, es que la siento bien difícil. Ok, here we go. Thank you. Guess Who. Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves, of themselves, de ellos mismos, ok? And put them, put them goes together. Put them, yeah. no, no decimos así, put them, no, put them, put them. Put them, put them. This, this turns into R when you pronounce it, American English. Put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses, guesses, no guesses, no, guesses, to guesses. put their best guesses forward forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, lighthearted, lighthearted fun that will definitely, definitely, the stress, the stress goes at the beginning in the first syllable, definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way while offering plenty of humor along the way. Once again, ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and get, and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. 
Forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, lighthearted fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. And the question again. Somebody else? Because some of your partners said that uh, they have a trip with the co-workers to the beach in the middle of the year. Another activity that you might have in your companies to have uh, happy employees besides the bonus in the middle of the year also. That's great. Otra actividad que tienen para um, to get rid of the stress para calmar el estrés. No, nobody else. Ay, very sad. Okay. Play handball. Play handball. Stress ball. Stre ah, the, the, uh -huh. there are some balls <laughs> that this stress you. Yes, great. Also, yeah. Very good, excellent. That's another one. That's another strategy, excellent. Very well, class, okay. Congrats on your reading practice. And now we move to the next activity. And it goes like this. Okay. Here, how to use present continuous for temporary situations. Let's recall. Le, eh, recordemos, repasemos, use the present continuous for temporary situations. The expressions these days and at the moment are often used to emphasize the temporary aspect of the activity. Estas dos expresiones, these days, at the moment, si se recuerdan, les hice énfasis en la conversación, ¿verdad? Que utilizaban estas dos frases para que la practicaran acá. Son como enfatizadores de eventos temporales porque these days en estos días at the moment, en este momento es decir, no siempre pero sí en este momento examples, I am reading a new book these days this is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book it is not going to be reading that book forever and ever, right number two Example number two, Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. The meeting will finish sooner or later. Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. En este momento, ella está en una reunión, está teniendo una reunión. La reunión finalizará tarde o temprano, sooner or later, tarde o temprano, okay? This is an idiom, idiomatic expression, sooner or later, tarde o temprano. Number three, we are taking an English course. The course will end. It is not going to last forever. No va a durar por siempre. Now, what are you going to do right now, class? Here, in exercise number four is your turn. Role play a chit chat. Chit chat. Do you remember that one day you asked me about? And I said, we're going to see that in this unit. Chit chat conversation about the temporary activities you and two other colleagues are doing these days. Chit chat son conversaciones solo por tenerla, verdad, sin aquella gran importancia. And maybe you are making comments about the activities that you are doing temporary uh, these days or your co-workers, yeah, similar to the one that you were practicing, but you have to switch roles. Tiene que crear una conversación acerca de los eventos o actividades temporales que usted y otros dos compañeros están teniendo estos días, ¿sí? And let me see, probably you can take as a, a basis for here. If you say, hi, Dimas, long time no see, how are you? And then maybe Blanky says, uh, Dimas says, hello, Blanky, what are you doing these days? I'm okay, well, I am 
blah, 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 blah. And she mentions what activities she is performing or she is working on these days. That sounds great. What a coincidence. Or I don't know. You use your imagination and you recreate this, okay? And later you talk about another activity that one of your other partners is or are doing. Si es uno o dos compañeros. ¿De acuerdo? Yes? Did you get it? No. Oh my God. Okay, here. That was page 34. And over here, okay? You're going to work in this activity. And it is just at page 38. En la página 38, actividad número 3. Van a crear una conversación. Yo les sugiero que tomen como base esta. La que está en la página 37. Hi Beth, long time no see you. ¿Por qué? Porque si le va a contar en qué anda en estos días, qué anda haciendo, qué actividades está haciendo en estos días, es porque no ha sabido de esa persona durante mucho tiempo, como dice la introducción. Uh, long time no see, mucho tiempo sin verte, ¿ok? Did we get the idea, class? Oli. ¿Comprendimos lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Ok, say yes. Más o menos. Ok, but I'm going to be monitoring. Because okay. uh, you already practiced last week something similar, ok. Pero déjenme verificar los grupos porque como algunos perdieron conexión, algunos quedaron con cinco, otros con dos y otros con tres, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a reorganize this. Vamos a recrear los equipos. Me aparece uno de cuatro ahora y todo de tres. Veamos, verifiquemos. Here we go. Bien, chicos. Open your eyes. Serafín, voy a enviar la invitación en este momento. Ok, here we go. Create a conversation. And later you are going to practice it. You switch roles and you're going to present it here to the class. Ok. Here we go. Use your creativity. The invitation has been sent. La invitación ya se les envió. Join your groups if you are so nice, guys. William, I need you in group number one, please. William, we need you in group number one. Okay, great. Thank you. Hola. Hola. Somos cuatro, ¿verdad? Sí. Con cinco hay. No, Ana Verónica, ah, la Juan, Juan, William en blanco. Ok, bye. You don't need me. Bye, bye. Take bye. care. Use your imagination. Presente continuo para eh, the expression this day and at the moment are often used the emphasis space. The temporary aspect of the attribute. Okay. Remember that you have to start building the conversation, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Document. Document. Sí, compártela, porque si no lo vamos a ver ahí en el, las copias. Mm -hmm. Eh, te tengo que buscar la página. Ay, 38, serie 8, 38. Serie 8. Ok. Listo. Okay. 
Uy, sí. No, no era esa. ¿Qué vamos a leer? No, porque vamos a leer la otra. En la, parece? Página, en la página 38, ejercicio 4. Ah, pero yo, ajá, ejercicio 4, pero yo les sugerí que tomaran como base la conversación de la página 37, ¿sí? Esa fue mi sugerencia, pero es en la página 38, exercise 4, ¿ok? Uh -huh. O sea, aquí tenemos que hacer una conversación, ¿será uh -huh. que? De nuestra... Hello, teacher. Uh, I have a question. The conversation... Uh, this right... Uh, I and grow told you, or I, listen, listen. I told you ah, that you listen. can take as an... As an example, this conversation. Les dije que podían tomar como ejemplo esta conversación para reconstruir, para construir la que ustedes van a personalizar, ¿sí? Sí, pero en lo que sus queríamos... eventos, En sus eventos Entonces, de la vida una real. para todos. Ajá, sí, it could be. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh, entonces es que vaya, porque eso queríamos preguntar. Ok. De la cuestión. Ok, it could be. gracias. Yeah. My pleasure. Una sola. Empecemos. Entonces. Van a utilizar. Yeah, yeah. Básicamente que sería la frase que nos va a dar la demás. Ajá. La demás yes. conversación. Yes. Ajá. Ok, ok. Don't forget to replace the names, ok. Ok. No se olviden sustituir los nombres porque si no ahí me van a salir. Hi, Beth. <risa> Le va a decir Dima a, a Nilton, hi, Beth. Ok, hi, Rita, le va a decir el otro. No, eh, replace your names, ok. Best friend, quería decir. Ah, ok. <risa> <risa> That's good. Ok, continue, please. Ok, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Ok, Dima, nos ayudas tú para escribir. Ok. Um, bueno, acá la clave sería Ever, por ejemplo. Sí, pero ¿cómo se llama? Y al cuando la expresión es this day, at, at the moment, at this moment. Entonces, y va a ser esta, esta conversación. Así que, ¿ah? Juan Ezequiel falta. Ah, ya se salió. Aquí está. Hola, Juan. Está por aquí. No, Juan es here. Micrófono? Juan. Ah. Sí. Ah. Eh, a ver, viéndolo de la conversación, como no, no lo vamos a hacer igual como está este, sino que vamos a, a agregarle lo. ¿Sí? Entonces, ahorita, en eso. Bye. ¿Verdad? Sí. O sea, entonces, para crear la conversación, tendríamos que, cuando ya digamos estas dos, tendríamos que poner lo que nosotros estamos haciendo temporalmente. Uh -huh. En esta parte. Don't forget to substitute the names. Si no, a, a David, a Manuel y a Jonathan le van a decir Beth. Uh -huh. ah, okay. <ríe> ok. Bye. <ríe> Bye. That some place was a coincidence and I am also also no, pero también está haciendo lo mismo que yo. No. Ajá, pero Ajá. ahí, ahí no, no tendría que poner como no, no coincidencia, ¿verdad? 
No, o sea, es que la conversación dice que coincidencia, ¿verdad? Ajá. Porque ar arriba Ever le dice de que él está tomando clase, un curso de clases de inglés. Entonces Beth le dice que ella también. Pero en este caso, yo le dije que yo estoy organizando la construcción de un parqueo. Entonces, si usted me dice que es una coincidencia, es porque usted está haciendo lo mismo. Pero si está haciendo algo diferente, solo tiene que cambiar ahí a lo que usted está haciendo. Uh -huh. O sea, no... Esta solo es un ejemplo, la conversación no tiene que ser exactamente igual, pues. Ok, ok, ok. Este, si gusta, entonces me voy a repase con, con alguien más, voy a, voy a, a, a escribir. I'm preparing the Christmas party in my company. Um, ¿Qué más le ponemos? Ya. Yeah. Y la última puede ser. Bueno, así, aquí dice Ray. Well, I am doing listening exercise. Entonces. Vamos a poner algo distinto nosotros ahí. Para terminarla. Ok, Timor, ok. Did you finish the creation of the conversation, students? Hello, class. ¿Ya terminaron la creación de la conversación? Eh, estamos esperando a, a los compañeros que... que a, William, a William y a, y a Juan. Sí. Ah, ok. Yes. Boys, boys versus girls. Excellent. Very well. Ok. Great. Le repito la oración que dije. Pero para escribirla. No puede escribir usted en la pantalla. No, no, no sé por qué no puedo compartir así como los demás compañeros. Pero lo mío, lo mío es fácil, ya le digo otra vez, lo voy a decir. Pero hay una sí, parte ejemplo. que se llama anotar en la pantalla, porque yo escribir en inglés, nada. Pero, pero, pero lo voy a decir así despacito. O en el si chat, cacha, o en el chat, vaya. No, lo voy a decir así, lo cacha. Para que la vaya entrenando el oído, vaya. <risa> <risa> vaya. Ah. vaya. I am. No sé, bueno, aquí está la teacher, no lo había visto. Teacher, take, taking the, the, hacer inventario, taking inventory, es correcto. Es correct, Pero eh, hacer el, invent, el inventario no es taking, es making. Ah, making. Ajá, making, porque perdón. taking es tomando, como que alguien le lleve el inventario, sí. Ah, ok. Y le dice este, making. El, ajá, making the inventory. ¿Cómo se escribe? Compañero, le hacen la vida más fácil. Ok. Yo lo cambié. 
<risa> Se lo no, voy a escribir en el que... chat, Miss. ¿Ok? Porfis, porfis. Sí, porque. Uh, making the inventory. Inventory. ¿Ok? Ya lo tiene ahí. Sí, que le estábamos hablando de que cuando nosotros cubrimos vacaciones de otro compañero que realiza otras funciones diferentes, para nosotros también esas son actividades temporales. Ajá, uh -huh, like overtime. Ese es overtime también, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, Eso porque... es lo que yo les decía aquí, que me, to me está tocando eh, cubrir las funciones de un compañero. Ok, you are making Por overtime. Por uh -huh, Overtime. Mm -hmm. But you receive extra payment. Pago extra. No. <risa> <risa> Qué galán, pues. <risa> oh, sad. Sorry for you, miss. Ay. In my company, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. so you don't want anybody to take uh, vacations. Así es que no quieren que nadie vaya de vacaciones. No, porque ah, no nos da nada. Yeah, okay. But when you take your vacations, somebody else takes care of your duties, right? Pero cuando usted va de vacas, alguien le. le... No. ¿Por como, qué? Como soy la contador, nadie me cubre. Uh, Uh -huh. But you have uh, extra bonus? No. No, lo que hago es pedirle a una un, tres días, dos días, así. Compensación, time. Uh -huh. They pay you with time, le pagan con tiempo. Uh, ok, but that's good too. Pero eso también w, es bueno. Yeah. W salary. Como el salary. <ríe> ok, let's continue. Y cuando, y cuando yo las pido trabajar, no quieren. Oh, really? No quieren okay. que se las trabajen. Ok, let's do it because time flies, ok? Yes. Ok, okay. teacher. Okay. Ah, yeah. Entonces, David, hasta ahí sería la oración, ¿verdad? I am, I am taking. Uh -huh. Um, do you give a prize to the best customer? Sí. Yes, que le diga yes. Yes. Sí, es original mejor. Sí. Hay un, hay un buen premio que le voy a. Uh -huh. Bueno, si quieren lo dejamos así, va, que diga la pregunta, va. That's great. Eh, my co-workers organize the Halloween party. I will dress up as Spider-Man. Y el otro que le pregunte, do you give a prize to the best custom? Yes, there is a good prize. It was nice to you see you. O sea, fue bueno verte. Que te creen nice to me, you. Uh -huh. Nice to me, you too, que sí. Nice to me. Mucho gusto. Ok, diga, take Ok, ¿Cómo, ¿cómo queda al principio? Vale, le damos lo completo. Hola, que diga hola, tiempo. Hola, fulano. Yo lo no tengo hasta donde quiero, I will dress Spider. Hola, fulano, que le diga hola. Mucho tiempo sin verte. Mucho tiempo sin verte, que se... Okay, Juan, William is your partner, right? Yes, teacher. He's back. Ya regresó. <laughs> ah, sí, es que estaba fuera de, 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 con el Inter. 
pero acá está. Ok, let's practice because it's almost time. Practiquen porque casi es la hora, ok? To say goodbye. Ok. Did Serafin practice Hello? his conversation? Ya practicó Serafin yes. la conversación. <gasps> really? And your partner was Jose or Ivania? ¿Quién fue su compañero? Ivania o, o fue Jose Mejía? Los dos. Lo, con Mucho. los dos practicó. Y todos le dijeron, excellent, congratulations. <laughs> <risa> sí, porque el anterior dijo no lo veo convencido que me digan excellent. <risa> ok, great, excellent, very well. That's the spirit. Muy bien. Y con Jenis, Jenis Caroline, ¿con quién practicó? Con José. Con José. Ok, José. José lo hemos estado extrañando. Sí, dicho, ah, dije, yo andaba de vacaciones, estuve, José. Estuve fuera del país, pero ya me encontré Ajá. el sábado. Ah, ok, great. Sí, trate de ponerse al día en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Porque sí, sí, ya, sí, ya sí. mañana iniciamos la, la cuarta semana, la cuarta sección, y así le puedo actualizar ahí. Sí, sí. Okay. Yo creo que ni la administración se logró comunicar con usted, ¿verdad? Pero me escribieron, me escribieron. <risa> Le escribían y usted no contestaba. Ah, ah. vacation. And you started to sing, I'm on vacation. Vacation. <risa> you know, because I love my occupation. Ya está. <risa> ok. Very well. So you enjoyed a lot. Ah, we're happy for you. Nos agrada que haya disfrutado. Sí, la verdad que ya, La próxima falta. nos lleva. Yeah, please, take us. Ok, now we're going to get back to the main session room, even though there are some groups that are still building the conversation because some people were having problems with the connectivity. But I'm, I have to take the second attendance, ok? Tengo, de, debo tomarles la segunda asistencia. Ok, okay so don't go away. Um, I'm going to ask you to activate your cameras because I'm going to take your second attendance because of the activity, it took a long time, right? And uh, here we go. Let's wait for the others, let's see. Well, sis, Serafin is in his way. Okay, I'm going to take your second attendance. So, Ana Marlene. Present teacher. Ana Veronica. Present. Brandon. Brandon. Brandon absent today. I can't believe it. Carmen. Ah, Carlos Miguel. Here. Carmen. Here, okay, teacher. great. Carmen was absent. Clelia. Yes, Thank you, Miss Clelia. Daniel Alberto. Present. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present. Okay, great. Ivania. Present, teacher. Jenny's Caroline. Caroline. Presentation. Great, Miss. Se saltó a Edwin. ¿Mm? Se saltó a Edwin. No, no me he saltado a nadie. Tal vez algún Como nombre, me... algún nombre tal vez, pero no a ninguna persona. <risa> <risa> El nombre de Edwin. De verdad. Ok, Edwin, but I know he's here and he has the microphone open in order to say, teacher, I'm here. 
ok. Me llamaron al teacher, me dejaron solito en el grupo. Ah, oh, because of the connectivity, <laughs> but I rescued you, <laughs> pero lo rescaté, ya. Yeah. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ah, Jenny's Caroline is here, Jonathan, Jonathan. Yeah. Great. José Manuel, he's back. José Mario, absent. Hmm, hold it. Yeah. <clears throat> Next one, Marley. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Juan. Present. Juan is a, thank yeah. you. Thank you so much, Nilton. Present. Serafín. Serafín, where are you? Here I am, here I am, teacher. Here William, I am. William, William Francisco, always here, William. Present. Filomena Luz. Present, teacher. Blanca Luz, Blanqui, where are you, Blanqui? Present, present, teacher. Thank you so much. Alejandra Michel was absent. Beatriz absent and Noah was absent. Okay, listen, because of the time, we're going to continue with the conversation tomorrow. And there is a paragraph that I'm going to ask you to write because it is uh, the last part of this unit. And uh, I'm going to ask Jose Manuel Mejia, where are you? Yes. Hello, Okay, yes, yes. hold it for yes, a while. Mencionó, yes, no Dimas. No la en la lista. Ah, no, es que yo ya eliminé a varias personas aquí. Por ejemplo, a, José, a Roberto, a, a Dimas, José Dimas, right? José Dimas, sí. José Dimas. Ah, pero acá está. Uh -huh. Yes, you're Present always teacher. here. Yes, thank you. Ok, José Manuel, porque como José Manuel no estaba contando las vacaciones, that's why, that's, you know. Ok, um, José Manuel, um, would you please stay with me for a while after class? Se queda okay, conmigo, teacher. José Manuel, por favor, okay. después de la clase. Class, congratulations, excellent work today in the creativity, writing, and practice. Remember, if you owe me one homework for unit three, do it tonight, okay? See you, have a good night, sleep well, happy sleep, see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night, only Jose Manuel stays good with night. me. Bye-bye, have tomorrow. a good night, sleep well, sweet dreams, sweet dreams, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, David, bye-bye, Edwin Roberto, bye-bye, Serafín. Bye bye, Juan Ezequiel. Juan Ezequiel, bye bye. Edwin, bye. Bye bye, see you tomorrow. Ok, José, here we go. Bueno, José, eh, decidí que se quedara hoy conmigo en la tutoría por. Eh, vamos a repasar un poquito, ¿verdad? Lo que hemos estado viendo para que practique uh, speaking. Ok, here we go. Hemos estado viendo el present continuous, pero con doble intención. Uh -huh. Una con eh, la intención de futuro. Lo utilizamos para expresar. Fíjense bien. Acá tenemos, mire el contraste. How to use simple present versus present continuous. We use the simple present tense for general information. Para información en general es que usamos el presente simple, como usted probablemente se recuerda, ¿verdad? Que lo vimos desde la unidad uh -huh. en el curso 1. Uh -huh. Sin embargo, y para expresar routines, hobbies, and general truths, ¿verdad? Y verdades uh -huh. innegables. Pero we use the present continuous for ongoing actions at the time of speaking. Esto es lo que nos han enseñado siempre en la escuela, el colegio, ¿verdad? Que usamos el ING para actividades que están desarrollando, se están ejecutando en el momento. Ejemplo, I am planning a video conference. Es lo que estoy haciendo en este momento. Ok. I'm talking to you. Le estoy hablando. Es lo que hago. I'm in, I am a sitting in front of the computer. Estoy sentada frente a la computadora. Okay. Acá completaron, no sé si estuvo usted presente, completaron sus compañeros estas oraciones en presente continuo. Example, Thomas print out the contract. Thomas is printing the contract, printing out the contract. Porque uh -huh. la estructura de esto es el sujeto de la oración, el verbo to be, 
is, am, uh -huh. or are. El verbo principal va en ing y el complemento, sí. En esta parte de acá tienen que escribir okay, actividades que ustedes usualmente hacen los lunes en la mañana. Acá estamos contrastando en el ejercicio 4, en la primera parte, el present continuous y acá el presente simple, ¿sí? Esas dos prácticas okay. hicieron ellos. Pero fíjese que tenemos acá estas oraciones, mire. How to use the present continuous for future events. El presente continuo que usted vio en la página anterior que le mostré y que le expliqué es diferente a este. ¿Por qué? Porque este lo usamos para hablar de eventos que ya han sido programados o calendarizados para un futuro. Uh -huh. Y la estructura es subject, the verb be, the main verb in ing and the complement. El sujeto, el verbo to be, al igual que en el presente continuo, simple, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Para actividades que están sucediendo, am, is, or are, el verbo principal, ing, y el complemento. Ejemplo, I am meeting the interns tomorrow. Fíjese que la palabra tomorrow nos dice que la acción no se está ejecutando, por lo tanto uh -huh. es presente continuo con sentido de futuro. Y aquí ellos organizaron okay. estas palabras para crear oraciones que reflejan el presente continuo para eventos futuros. Ejemplo, José is receiving the new workers tomorrow. José está recibiendo, no es la interpretación. José va a recibir. Recibirá. Ajá, va a recibir. Va a recibir, porque recibirá sería con will, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, okay. ok, muy bien. Es decir, que vamos a usar el presente continuo cuando ya hay una actividad programada. Porque si usted me dice con Will, ¿qué sucede con ese futuro con Will? Puede ser que suceda, puede ser que no suceda. Ese es un futuro incierto, ¿sí? Ah, Mientras okay. que yeah. con eh, el ING, entonces sí estamos con la certeza que va a suceder. ¿Estamos claros hasta ese momento? Sí. Claro, claro, la verdad sí. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, eso es el centro de lo que ha sido esta unidad, el contraste de esas dos estructuras. So, uh -huh. right now I'm going to ask you to read this conversation on your own. Le voy a pedir que me lea esta conversación. You read it alone. Lo lee solito. Y yo le ayudo si tiene algún problema con alguna palabra. Ok, let's begin. Comience okay. a leer. Uh, good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Uh, good afternoon, Ryan. While I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing, doing right now? Yet it is gating ready for the conference in the main room. I see. At one time, do you usually head to your workplace? What's uh, the phrase? First, uh, I have the first. First, como si fuera una first. E, first. first. What the first time uh, you do? I usually arrive um six thirty. Yes, teacher, me ayuda. Six thirty. Thirty. Six thirty a.m. I'm the first time, and I do is to check me my email. And you, well, I arrive at seven. Or seven fifty. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Okay, now listen to your teacher read. Good afternoon, okay. Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing, not doing? Mm. Doing. Forget about you. Do. It, it, it doing significa, doing. teacher? 
el haciendo a, ah, okay, a okay, what okay. is our team doing right now? ¿Qué ah. está haciendo nuestro equipo en este momento? Right este now. Viene del, en, de, del, del verbo do, do. Por eso se dice doing, no doing. Ah, Porque el verbo, solito el verbo, en sus raíces, do. What mm -hmm. do you do? Ok, how do you do? Okay. Doing right now. Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first, first thing first. you do? Acá tiene, mire, you do. Mm -hmm. El verbo solito acá con ing. You do. I usually arrive, arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email in you. Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30, not 50. At 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, ahora léalo de nuevo usted solito. Read alone, please. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you uh, doing? Doing, verdad? Uh, right now, good afternoon, Ryan. Uh, well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yet, it is targeting ready for the conference in the main room. I see. What time do you usually? Get to your workplace. What the first time the first time you do? I usually arrive at um, six thirty. I am and the first time I, I do is to check my email. <clears throat> and you, well, I arrive at. Seven or seven fifty? No. I can request that. Ferry. Ferry. It depends of traffic. My first, my first activity is to pick out their letters. Okay, repeat after me. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Well, I am planning a video conference. Well, I am planning a video conference. The conference with the new team in San Salvador? The conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? What is your team doing right now? They are getting ready. They are getting ready. For the conference. For the conference. In the meeting room. In the meeting room. I see. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What time do you usually get to your workplace? What time do you usually get to your workplace? What time do you usually get to your workplace? Usually. Usually. No, usually. Usually. Excellent. Usually. Usually, usually, okay. Okay, excellent. What's the first thing you do? What the first thing you do? I usually arrive. I usually arrive. I usually arrive. At 6.30. I sip 30. A.M. A.M. And the first thing I do? And the first thing I do? Is to check my email. Is to check my email. And you? And you? Well. Well. I arrive. I arrive. At seven. At seven. Or seven thirty. Of seven thirty. It depends. It depends. It depends on traffic. It depends on traffic. My first activity. My first activity is to pick up. 
is to pick up the letters. The letters. Okay. Thank you okay. so very much for giving me the time to practice and to get updated. Y para poder actualizarlo con los temas que hemos estado trabajando, ¿ok? Necesito okay. que se me ponga al día con la plataforma. Desde el inicio vea qué es lo que debe y lo actualiza, ¿ok? okay Thank you so sir. much. Have Thank a good you. night and see you tomorrow. Sleep well. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.